Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Uh, question number 7, uh, chapter 24, electric potential. Remember, we are doing Halliday Resnick Walker, 10th edition. Uh, figure shows a system of three charged particles. A system of three charged particles. Uh, if you move the particle of charge plus Q from point A to point D, are the following quantities positive, negative, or zero? Uh, part A, the change in the electric potential due to the three particle system. Uh, the work done by uh, by the net electric, the work done by the net electric force on the particle you move, you moved. That is the net force due to the other uh, two particles. And part C, work done by by your force. Part D, what are the answers uh, to part A through part C? If in a the particle is moved from B to C, okay, B to C. Now uh, we are given a system of three charged particles where you are moving this charge plus Q. These two are fixed. This plus Q and this plus Q are fixed. So you are moving only this charge. Okay, you are moving only this charge. Uh, first, we have to see whether change in uh, potential energy is positive, negative or zero and work done by the external agency is that positive, negative or zero and work done by the field is that positive, negative or zero. Uh, yeah. And then uh, if we move the charge in a step from B to C, what will be the answer to the same questions? Now these two are fixed, okay, these two are fixed. So potential energy due to this pair in this system is going to remain same because they are fixed. They are not same. Potential energy, if you remember, potential energy in a system of charged particles is gamma Q1, Q2 divided by R12. That is uh, potential energy of two particle system. And then if you have more particles in the system, you take all the pairs and go on adding. In this case, you will take these two as a pair that will be one term, then this one and this one as another pair, then you'll get one more term, then this one and this one as another uh, pair, you'll get one more term. Okay. Now, in this case, in this case, uh, since these two are fixed at their positions, so potential energy contributed by this pair will not change. And you are moving this point, you are moving this charge, so potential energy of this pair will change. Potential energy contributed by this pair to the system will change and potential energy contributed by this one and this one, this pair to the system will also change. So we'll have, uh, uh, we'll have total four, three terms, one due to this pair, one due to this pair and other due to this pair. Out of the three terms in total potential energy, the, uh, the one because of these two will remain same, but the one because of this one and this one and this one and this one will change. Now, since only one charge is moving and rest of the system is intact, so work done, I'll talk about work done, work done by external agency, by the applied force is Q times delta V. We did this uh, previously also. This is the charge being moved, charge being moved and this is potent change in potential energy change in potential due to rest of system due to rest of system and if rest of the system is not being changed and only this charge is being moved then the work done by the external agency goes to the system as potential energy contributes to change in potential energy okay so this is important this is important if rest of the system is <coughs> not changing these two particles, they are fixed at their positions. Only this charge, this charge is being moved. Then this work done by the external agency introduces this change in potential energy of the system. Okay, of the system, total potential energy of the system. Okay, now, uh, so we'll talk in terms of potential here. Now, potential due to a uh, point charge, we know is gamma Q divided by R. So potential at point A, potential at point A due to these two, due to these two, the ones which are fixed is gamma Q divided by D, distance is D, plus gamma Q divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 D. This is potential at point A. And then potential at point uh, uh, D, potential at point D is 
due to this one gamma q divided by 1 2 3 4 divided by 4 d plus gamma q this one divided by d distance is d so it's same only the roles are getting interchanged so potential at point a is same as potential at point b so v a is equal to v b v a is equal to v b so delta v is equal to zero change in potential is equal to zero if change in potential is equal to zero then work done is zero so change in potential energy of the system is also zero so part a part a we're asked to see if change in potential energy of the system is positive negative or zero change in potential energy is zero part b we're asked to see if work done by the external agency is zero or positive or negative uh, part b the work done by the net electric field on the particle you moved that's the net force okay but work done by the by the field by the field due to these two charges work done by the field remember is negative of q times delta v okay negative of q times delta v and since delta v is zero so work done by the field is also zero by the field is also zero part c work done by external agency is again zero because delta v is zero remember that external agency work done is q times delta v okay delta v is zero so this is also zero so change in potential energy of the system is zero work done by the field is also zero work done by the external agency is also zero now instead of moving charge q from this point a to point d we have to move it from point b to point c now and the same question is change in potential energy positive or negative uh, or zero is uh, uh, work done by the field positive negative or zero is the work done by the external agency positive negative or zero now again let's first find our potential difference now potential at b is equal to due to this one gamma q divided by d plus gamma q the other one divided by d plus d is 2d then potential at c is gamma q divided by due to this one divided by d plus d is 2d plus gamma q the other one divided by d this distance is d divided by d again you can see they are same only the roles are being interchanged in the previous case we had 4d 4d here we are having 2d and 2d so VB is equal to VC, which means delta V is equal to zero. And if delta V is zero, if delta V is zero, then change in potential energy, which is Q times delta U is uh, Q times delta V. Delta V is also zero. Part B, uh, work done by the field, which is the same minus q times delta v is also zero and work done by external agency is q times delta v is also zero all the three are again zero okay all the three are again zero so that's it that's what we were asked to find out i'll do for this session